chicken wing can be a tricky ingredient when it comes to cooking. It should be tasty from the skin to the bone. It must be cooked properly and shouldn't be dry. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to use slow cooker to make this dish effortlessly. Don't worry, if you don't have a slow cooker, you can use a rice cooker. Now, let's start off by washing the chicken wings. When washing chicken wings, I like to wash them in ice cold water. If you watch carefully, you notice there is a blood nerve along the wings. You want to remove the blood by gently squeezing the nerve and let the blood flow out. If your chicken wing is frozen, you probably see this kind of blood clock. It is quite easy to remove them and they are pretty visible. As you can see, there are more frozen blood underneath. Just gently push the blood out. It is good to remove this blood because especially when you are deep frying it, Sometimes you can see blood vessel exploded in the hot oil when you are deep frying it. It doesn't matter which cooking method you are using, it's always good to remove the blood. If the blood are trapped between the joint, you can also chop up the wings. I didn't do this in this recipe because I find that these wings are too small and it might just disappear <laughs> in the dish. You see, it is really not that difficult to do that. Now, you want to wash them for a second or even third time until the water runs clear. Now, you want to drip dry them. Let's take a look at what other ingredients we need. Of course, the main ingredients is wings. And over here, I have a platter of shallot, ginger, garlic, and spring onions. As for seasoning, I have some honey, oyster sauce, sesame seed oil, Chinese cooking wine, and fish sauce. Start off by marinating the chicken. Let the chicken marinate for at least 3 to 4 hours or even better, overnight. You can use rice cooker or a slow cooker. You want to oil them first before you put in the ginger and the shallots. You should put a generous amount of this. Now, lay the chicken in the crock pot, skin down. And here I notice I got too much chicken. Alright, the chicken shouldn't be packed like this, so tightly. Anyway, it's too late. I'm just going to try and squeeze everything in. I'm going to add the remaining seasoning so that the chicken is not too dry when cooking. It is okay if you want to quit these steps because the chicken itself already has a lot of moisture and fat. So I'm going to slow cook this for 2 hours. Halfway through, I took a little peep on the chicken. I was a little bit disappointed this part. You notice the red spot there is actually the blood. I didn't manage to get that all out. Anyway, it's just halfway through. I just hope that the blood are properly cooked so that I don't have to eat raw blood at the end. At this point, I notice there is a lot of liquid in the pot, so I remove them. By doing that, you are actually roasting the chicken and not making a chicken stew. 
I managed to remove at least two cups of water. Now I'm going to put the lid on and cook for another 30 minutes. Because this chicken was quite small, I decided to shorten the cooking time. So I quickly remove them before it gets burned. This chicken is so tender. It's slightly crispy from the outside on the skin and it's moist inside. The one thing I really like about this is the ginger flavours and the slightly burn and sweetness from the honey. What I learned from this recipe is that when using a slow cooker or rice cooker, the space is quite limited. So if you want to make a huge amount, shouldn't be using this. Maybe try an oven instead. This chicken wings go so well with my green sriracha and leeks. And of course, uh, you can eat rice too, but we prefer potato today. So we are eating this with some hash brown. If you like this recipe still, why not give this a try? I noticed a lot of people like spicy fried noodles. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this dry laksa fried noodles. If you don't want to miss this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel with bell notification on so you won't miss it. Meantime, please stay safe and I'll see you in my next. Bye.